today I'm going to be showing you guys every single POI that has been on a chapter 1 or chapter 2 map that is actually going to be carried over into the chapter 3 map. Now for those who don't know, I do not know how you wouldn't know this, but we're getting a new map for Fortnite chapter 3 and this new map has an absolute metric ton of new stuff. Now let's actually just dive into it because honestly, why stall it out? Let's get into the main POIs that are going to be getting carried over. Now to start it off there are no chapter 2 major POIs by that I mean any POIs that actually are titled on the map that are getting carried over from chapter 1 to chapter 2 or sorry from chapter 2 to chapter 3 but there are five separate POIs that are getting carried over from chapter 1 to chapter 3 and those in my order of favorite is a uh, number one loot lake number two shifty shafts number three Greasy Grove, number four, Sunny Steps. This is actually the ruins of Sunny Steps. And then number five, it's technically Rocky Reels, but it is what used to be Risky Reels, except it's most likely just going to be a destroyed version of that POI. So overall, those are the five POIs that are getting carried over from the Chapter 1 map to the Chapter 3 map. Now, these POIs will most likely have some differences to them. Personally, I'm the most excited about Loot Lake getting carried over because because that had always been my favorite drop spot on the chapter one map all the way back before there were even seasons that's where I dropped that's where I got my first purple scar it, it's such an amazing spot and I'm super hyped to see it on the chapter three map by the way if you're watching this video and chapter three is live this video is being recorded before any of chapter three is live this is all just based off of the leaks and what we have gotten from the leakers so there may be a few inaccuracies in this video but overall this should be majority right so now that we've gotten past the main POIs that are actually going to be getting carried over, let's actually move on to the smaller yet still really cool POIs. And the first one that we have is actually the only one that comes from Chapter 1. Now, this one wasn't even technically on the Chapter 1 map, but it was in a teaser for a loading screen on the Chapter 1 map. Now, this is the Llama Farm. Now, for those who don't know, this loading screen is actually from the Fortnite Season 6 Chapter 1 Battle Pass, and it obviously has one of those secret battle stars in the background, which, for those who did not play in Chapter 1, was actually how you leveled up your battle pass. You had to get these battle stars, and they would give you extra rewards and stuff. It was a really cool system, and I honestly want Epic to bring it back, but that's a different point. Let's actually get on to the other POIs that have been added back. Now, the first one is amazing, and I'm going to make a separate video on it as well. So so if that's out by the time that you're watching this, it'll be in the top right corner of the screen. But this is actually the Pontoon Boat. Now, for those who don't know, the Pontoon Boat, I believe in Chapter 2, Season 2, and Season 3, although it might be Season 3 and Season 4. I could be getting those dates mixed up. But I do know that at the beginning of Chapter 2, there was actually this boat that would just randomly spawn in the oceans of the waters, and every game it would be in a different location. Now, this boat is going to be seeing a return in Chapter 3, and we're going to be getting the pontoon boat back in game, and we're going to be getting that random chance of the boat every single game. So, honestly, I'm super hyped about this, and I'm really excited to see this, because, honestly, I think it's a really cool concept, having a POI where you can get really good loot, but you're not sure where it's going to be every single game. I think it's a really cool concept. Now, the next one that we have is actually the Butter Barn, and this is actually a POI from my favorite season of Chapter Chapter 2, Chapter 2, Season 5. Now, in Chapter 2, Season 5, we actually saw the addition of Bounty Hunters. Now, this season was really big because we got so many different crossovers. And one of these crossovers, which actually wasn't a crossover, it was actually an original invention by Fortnite, was the Butter Barn Place. It was the Butter Barn Warrior. There was this skin called, I think it was like the Butter Barn Guy? I don't even know his official name if I'm going to be completely honest. But there was a POI on the map called Butter Barn, and it's getting carried over to the Chapter 3 map. Now, the next one that we have is Crack Shots Cabin. This is due to the fact that at the beginning of Chapter 3, we're actually going to be getting the Winterfest event. So, that's going to be coming very soon. Stay tuned to the channel for a challenge guide on that and everything that you need to know about that once it actually goes live. The next one is the Log Jam place from the Chapter 2 map. This place is really cool, a lot of wood, really fun to go to, and honestly, just a good place overall. Now, the other one, and our final one of the more interesting category, is the Lighthouse. Now, everyone knows Lucky's Lighthouse. It's at the very top of the map. 
map on the Chapter 2 map, so I'm excited to see where they actually put it down on the Chapter 3 map. Now, in our final category of things, this is kind of the lesser known ones and the more random ones, but there are still some Chapter 1 POIs, and along with that, there's some Chapter 2 ones, so like we've done for all the other categories, let's actually start it off with the Chapter 1 of points of interest. And the first one that we actually have is the Cliff House slash Fancy Mansion. Now, for those who don't know, back on the Chapter 1 map, there was this really cool house. I only have a Muselk thumbnail of it, so that's why it kind of looks clickbaity. But this is, was basically a location where it had this really cool below hangar area where you could kind of go down there and then you could slide off the edge of the map. Remember, this is when the water used to one-shot you. So it was really dangerous to loot at this place because if you fell off the edge, you are instantly dead. But it was a really cool place to go to because it had that little secret area. So I'm hoping that that's what they're referring to when they actually say Cliff House. Remember, guys, I have not seen, I have not been on the official map yet. So I'm just doing this purely off of the data that we have been given from the leakers. Now, the next one that we actually have is the Desert Oasis. Now, there was a PUI in the Chapter 1 map called the Trucker's Oasis, and I'm guessing that this is going to be similar to it solely due to the fact that the Trucker's Oasis was actually in a desert. So, it would make a lot of sense if the Desert Oasis is actually just kind of a callback to this Trucker's Oasis. Now, moving on to our Chapter 2 PUIs, we're actually starting it off with the Beach Shacks and the Boat Rentals. Now, for those who don't know, these are two POIs that are going to be on the Chapter 3 map, and they both remind me a lot of Rainbow Rentals. Now, for those who don't know, this is the Rainbow Rentals POI in the Chapter 3 map, and these things, both their names really correspond to the Rainbow Rentals, and both their names really remind me of what the Rainbow Rentals are. So, hey, maybe we're going to get, like, two new POIs of these Rainbow Rentals and these Beach Shack-type houses, just so that you can go to the edge of the map, get some good old loot, and then rotate onto the center once the storm actually pushes you that way. Now, along with that, we have fishing shacks, and this is in no way correlated to Chapter 1 or Chapter 2. I just want to throw it in here because I'm super psyched that we will probably be getting a fishing dex in Chapter 3, and along with that, hopefully a lot of new fish. You never know. Maybe we'll get a ton of new fish. But moving on to our second to last one, our penultimate one, we've got the radio tower returning. And for those who didn't know the radio tower on the Chapter 2 map, that would not surprise me because it was just kind of this random POI. But it was actually really sleeper OP. This thing had so much loot in the bottom of it by the end of Chapter 2. And it was actually really recommended by Cypher PK for people to drop there if they were just learning the game. And they were trying to get a really good drop spot to go to. So that POI is coming on the chapter 3 map hopefully it's really cool just like it was on the chapter 2 one let's move on to our final POI the plant nursery now this thing could mean like so many different things but I included it in here solely due to the fact that there is actually a spot in Holly Hedges that was the plant nursery or basically something along those lines of the name I actually don't even have an image of it because it literally wasn't even big enough to be like imaged by people so uh, there's not even really that much proof of it being on the chapter 2 map so hopefully the version on the Chapter 3 map is really big and really outdone compared to what it was on the Chapter 2 map, something that wasn't even worthy of anyone screenshotting. But these are literally all of the POIs that are being included in the Chapter 3 map that have already been shown to us on both the Chapter 1 and the Chapter 2 map. This list actually did take me a while to put together, so if you would mind considering popping in code GUMMYOSHI in your Fortnite item store, hashtag ad, when you're actually purchasing your Battle Pass, as that would help me out a ton and also consider subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications as I'm going to be having literally all the news about chapter 3 tomorrow when it drops or if you're already watching this after chapter 3 has dropped I'll still be making videos about the best way to do things in chapter 3 everything you need to know about it and overall just some really good advice so if you guys actually did enjoy the video like subscribe all that good stuff I hope you guys have an amazing day and we'll see you guys in the next one